I want to tell you a little story about uh, Lyle Russell. Lyle Russell. Cedric. Lyle Excuse Cedric me. Anderson. Excuse he me. was born in 1918, and he died in 2005. He was a pianist, a conductor, and a composer. His nickname, Skitch, was reportedly derived from his ability to re-sketch a song in a different key. Now, old Skitch was born on a farm near Minnesota to Joe and Josie Anderson. They were Norwegian people from Norway. Old mom, well, she died soon after he was born, and he had to go live with his Aunt Hattie. She raised him. She taught him the piano. He was four years old. He didn't really get a formal education, 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 but he was classically trained under Fritz Reiner, 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 Albert Coates, and Arnold Schoenberg. He was a professional pianist. He recorded a lot of music. He worked for Bob Hope, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby. He was also sometimes known as the Sketch Kid. He had some legal problems in 1974. He was charged with uh, tax evasion for 1969 and 1970. He uh, falsified some claims, evidently. Allegedly 350 grand for a music library that he was supposed to have donated to the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He also claimed that he had consulted on the value of his collection with uh, Lenny Bernstein and Henry Mancini, but uh, they denied it. They said they never spoke to him about it. So anyway, he was sentenced found guilty January 17th in 1975 and he was told he had to serve six months in prison fined ten thousand dollars he was released after four months on August 4th 1975 and what's the point of the story well the point of the story is is that you can be brilliant you can have skill and you can make some beautiful music but you're not above petty things petty things like uh, money stealing money and cheating the government so, 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 so,